No, I still think that's that's a thing to some extent because many top players also rely on their ability to calculate their way out of situations, but you can still, of course, tell um, who's who has better technique and who has worse technique. It's a thing. I mean, for example, the first match uh, uh, Magnus won against Anand. So you're saying Vichy is bad at end games? I'm not saying he's bad in end games. I'm saying that Magnus was better in end games. I'm not sure if that was a chess thing. Obviously, Magnus is amazing at end games, but also Magnus is so relentless and so fit, and <clears throat> he just keeps putting pressure for six hours. But that yeah, maybe I it's a combination. But uh, look at Nakamura. I mean, we could say if he would make mistake today or even yesterday, or even in the, uh, what was the first game? First game, no, first game was not an end game. But the last two games, we could see uh, game two and three that he could make a mistake and we would just say that, well, okay, no surprise in the four, uh, fourth hour, he made a mistake. Yeah. Or because after the opening, he was so damaged psychologically that he couldn't get over it, right? But he could fix it because he was sharp and he played C3 because he saw C3, the saving opportunity. And we yeah. have another draw of today, number yeah. three. No, I think it goes both ways. If he had spent some days looking at the line, he would have just blitzed out the 0-0 zero, zero 